Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be sharing about tricks to find out hybridization of carbon atoms. Now, when we say hybridization, hybrid means mixing up of, here we will talk about mixing up of orbitals. Okay, so let us consider S orbital, we have how many P, we have P how many um, direction, Px, Py, Pz, right, so Pz. When one S and one P mix, it is called SP hybridization. We have another SP2. We have, if I mix all the three and S together, it is called SP3 hybridization. So we are going to talk about the hybridization of the carbon atoms and we are going to deal with SP, SP2, S, SP3, okay, SP3. So we are going to get uh, out of this three, uh, anyone, okay. So let us take a carbon compound, CH3, I have taken a very simple carbon compound, CH. Uh, CH3 you have taken CH2 okay as I told you the between carbons the methylene is always CH2 okay the terminal is always CH3 now see carbon has four bonds and all are has four bonds and all are single bonded bonds has four bond has four valency and all are single bonded in this case so whenever carbon is all single bonded all the four bonds is single bonded then we will consider as sp3 so this carbon is also single bonded single bonded so this is also sp3 so this is also sp3 so remember when carbon is with sing all are single bonded all the four bonds are single bonded that is called your sp3 that carbon will be sp3 hybridized let us change another compound okay let us change into another compound ch2 double bond ch double ch2 ch three now see this carbon is now double bonded now whenever is carbon is double bonded that means one is sigma bond the other is pi bond one will be sigma the other will be pi bond so pi bond means this pi bond indicates that just think how many p orbital do we have okay one s yes. then we have three p orbital so pi bond pi bond means we will we are going to utilize one p orbital okay we are will just consider this one we have utilized this one pi means we are going to utilize this one so this has utilized how many has remained two so it will be sp2 hybridized okay one pi cancel one p how many p has remained two p so sp2 now this carbon is also you see double bonded as well as single bonded but we will consider we will take it as double bond okay now same thing carbon pi means one p has utilized one p has vanished okay so how many remaining 2p and 1s so sp2 so this sp3 is also sp3 let us go to the other carbon with triple bond so ch triple bonded c single bonded ch3 okay so now carbon is triple bonded one is sigma bond the rest two are pi bond so whenever pi bond is there whenever pi bond is there remember that one pi bond has utilized one p orbital so px py pz so so for this pi bond one p has utilized another pi bond one p has utilized so how much has remained only one p has remained so this sp same case we will consider for this also uh, one two three how many pi bonds two pi bonds how many sigma orbital one so pi means what again you have to consider for e each case okay each case you have to consider so uh, one pi bond one p cancel another pi bond another p cancel how much has remained how many orbital has remained s and p so s p so there is no pi bond at all so all the three is uh, uh, not utilized okay pure orbital is not utilized so this is the short tricks to remember about the hybridization of the carbon atoms uh, what happens if it is bonded to another atoms like this okay suppose we say carbon is a double bond but it is uh, bonded to oxygen atoms so what will be the case for this right so this also the same pi bond carbon contains one pi bond so that means one p has utilized how many p has remained one and uh, two p has remained so it is sp2 hybridized okay so these are the short tricks so we can learn for the other uh, uh, atoms also okay other elements also